What is up Android fans? It's Eric for mobile here and today guys I wanted to talk about hands down the best app for customizing both the appearance and functionality of your LG G3. Uh, this is a great app guys. I highly recommend it to anyone who's at, looking to add a little bit of extra function, a little bit of extra flair to the appearance of their device. So let's jump right into it. It's just an app that you can download right from the Play Store. Um, it is free. There's only one well, two prerequisites that you're gonna need for this app. Here it is right here. It's called G3 Tweak Box. Now, in order to use this app, guys, you need two things. You're gonna to have to be rooted, which is really, really simple on this phone. If you haven't seen uh, my last video, I went over how to root this device. I'll leave a link for it in the description of this video. Um, you do not have to have a custom recovery installed. You just need to be rooted. It's crazy easy. And also, you're going to need to install um, an app called Exposed, and what it does is it allows you to go in and change uh, the framework of the device, basically altering appearance of the UI and stuff like that. So in order to get the Exposed app, it is not uh, in the Play Store. You need to go to the browser and just type in Exposed like I did up there in Google, and it says top one, Exposed Installer. Click on that. It's gonna redirect you to this page, and you're just gonna scroll down till you get to this download link right there. Go ahead and click on that. And it just takes a second. It'll ask you to approve the install. Once it's done, just go ahead and install it onto your device. And then once it's done, we are ready to party. So actually, I guess there's one last thing we gotta do. Once you have that installed and you have the G3 uh, application installed right there, go into the exposed installer, which we just put on our phone. That's what the icon looks like. Click on that. And what we need to do is go into the second one down that says modules. And you click on modules and right there it says G3 tweak box. That's the one you need to click on. This is basically telling your phone that we're going to be making changes through this app on the phone. You need to click that and then also you need to come up here to the one that says framework. Click on that. It's just going to give you a little warning. Be sure you know what you're doing like usual. Don't show that again, click OK. You need to install and update. You want to make sure you're on the most recent um, you know, update for the app. And then this is where you're gonna need the root. It's gonna ask you to grant the root. Go ahead and do so. And then once it's done, you're just gonna click OK. And it's going to reboot the device. This will just take a second. And then once your device reboots back up, we'll jump into the app itself. Okay guys, here we are. My phone just barely rebooted. It's still kinda setting itself up getting back connected here but as soon as you're rebooted go ahead and jump back into your app drawer and we're going to uh, get, jump into the app right here we're ready to party uh, with making some changes so here's what it looks like uh, it's really simple um, it's really easy to do guys i'm not going to take you through every single feature that this app can do because um, that would take a much longer video so i'm just going to go through some of my favorites and show you how to install them so um, some of the things that you change it's gonna ask you to reboot the device and some of the things are just going to happen automatically. What I like to do is go through and make all the changes that I want all at once and then do a reboot at the very end. So you're not rebooting your device multiple, multiple times every time it asks you to. You can just do one once you're finished with all your changes and it will take effect for everything that you did. So the first thing we can jump into here is theme tweaks. And it's gonna have a toggle up here at the top whether or not you wanna be able to enable to make changes so by default it's toggle to on so we're ready to start changing some stuff um, the first thing i like to jump into is the tinted bars mod and this one right here this one in the middle says tinted or it says link status and navigation bar color i like to click on that one what that's going to do is it's going to make um, instead of a black bar down here on your navigation keys it's going to link it to your status bar color this one only takes effect after a reboot so at the end when i do it i'll show you what that looks like but it's really cool, I like it a lot. Um, and then it has separate status bar options. So this one is um, to off automatically. You're gonna wanna change it to on and you notice everything um, lights up to black instead of gray so you're ready to make changes. Um, you can change this, the color of your status bar, you can change your battery icon, the color of all the different little icons in the, navig in the status bar up here. Um, so one, one, one of the options that I like to do a lot is change the, um, the battery icon to a circle and this is one that happens automatically. If you didn't see it, it just bumped over to a circle. So some things, it, it'll take effect immediately without having to reboot it. Uh, you can hide the icon completely. 
Um, you can change uh, the percentage text size. So right now, it, that's the default. Um, if you lower it, if you just saw it got a lot smaller. I like to leave that around 100% just because, you know, it's easier to see. Um, and then you can also change the color of the icons up here as well. I like to leave them at white, so I'm not going to mess with them. When you guys use this app, you can do whatever you want. There's endless things to play with in here. Um, another really cool thing that this app lets you do is you can hide status bar icons. Now, if you're on the Verizon version, and I'm not sure about any of the other carrier versions, but on the Verizon version, when you have your Wi-Fi on, it always still shows your your data connection as well. So it shows your Wi-Fi and a 4G icon. To some people, this is kind of annoying. I am in that camp. So you can enable to hide that 4G icon. It just takes a second and then bam, you just have your Wi-Fi showing now and no 4G icon. I really like that. It just gives it a cleaner look and makes all those icons a little bit smaller. Um, I like that a lot. Another one I like to do is hide the alarm icon. I don't have an alarm set right now, but when you know you have an alarm set, you have the icon in the status bar. I don't always like to see that, so I just click to hide it and it goes away. And you can hide, you know, the Bluetooth, the NFC, the volume. You can hide your signal, your battery icons. You can hide anything. So that's a pretty fun one to mess around with. Another cool one is changing your clock position. This is another one that'll happen automatically. So you just click it. I clicked it to center. Actually, this one's probably gonna make you do a reboot. But if you didn't see it in there in clock position, I clicked centered. And then after I do the reboot, it'll be in the center instead of over here on the right side. Um, you can also hide the clock completely. Um, another cool thing is you can change the carrier text. So like on the AT&T phones, it says AT&T over here in the corner. You can um, add that to your version of the phone, like the Verizon version that I have doesn't have any carrier text, but you can put your name in there, whatever you want. So that's kind of cool. I usually leave it blank just because I like a cleaner look. Um, but that's that. Then there's a navigation bar. Now, um, in here, it's really cool because you can change uh, your button layout. You can change the color of the buttons. You can change how tall the, the navigation um, area is. So you can shrink it down um, right here with these sliders and it lets you do it in landscape and in portrait mode. So right now the default is 48 DP. You can change it all the way down to like 30 and make this thing half the size. I usually leave it pretty near stock, um, but that's pretty cool. I guess I can change it just for the sake of the video. I'll change it down to 30. So after the reboot, you'll see how much it affects, you know, the size of the status bar. You can change um, the long press actions for each of the buttons. You saw when you long press one, it automatically launch Google Now or an app or whatever. So that's pretty cool. I mean, there's just tons of options, guys. When you get the app, you, you can just go through and play with it on your own. I'm just going to show you some of my favorite ones. Um, another cool a uh, thing that I like to do is in the notification panel, you can go through and change the coloring of a lot of the apps. So if you come down and um, one of the cool things is if you have the, the brightness slider, which I actually don't have enabled right now, but let me go ahead and add them back in. So when you have these brightness and slider or brightness and volume sliders enabled, they're the stock kind of greenish color, but through this app, it lets you change that color. So here's the stock brightness slider color. You select that and right now it says stock background. You want to turn that off and then that enables you to make a change in the color. So when you get into this part, um, say if you want your, your everything in your UI to be red like the sliders, you go ahead and you just change it to the, to the color that you want. And what I like to do is copy this little code down here and then you hit OK. And it, you can see right now, so it says that the brightness slider is gonna be red now. So you can also change the volume slider. So you know if you want them to match. And the reason I copied that little code is because this time you can come in and just paste that code and bam, hit preview, it'll select it. And there you go. You got the same color for both of them. In here you can uh, add carrier text to your dropdown. So if yours says, you know, your carrier down here, you can change that to say, you know, whatever you want. Seeing it, it's already changed the color of my sliders to red. So that's cool. Um, and then I have to go into quick settings and change the toggle icon colors as well. So I come in here, I paste it, hit preview and hit okay. And then my toggle icons, that might just take until after a reboot, but those will change to red as well. And then um, you can mess with the recent apps window. You can add a clear all button. You can add a RAM bar so you can see how much phone your, uh, how much RAM your phone's using up. And then an under other UI tweaks, um, there's even more 
um, customizations. You can change um, your volume slider. So when you're changing the volume on your phone, those are all the stock kind of greenish color. But if you want those to go in and match the red that you put in your status bar, you can go in and paste those colors in and make those red as well. And then, um, so that was all just in theme tweaks. Now you can go in and tweak specific areas of your phone, like the lock screen. Um, you can hide a bunch of information if you don't want as much information to show. And the call tweaks, I like to make a uh, bigger caller picture. So when someone's calling you, that round profile picture of theirs is bigger. I think that adds a nice look. Message tweaks, um, you can change um, you know, what happens when you receive a message, whether or not your screen turns on, all that kind of stuff. I like to go into the theme color and change it to um, what we had those other colors set to, that value that we pasted. So now when you go into your messaging, instead of being that stock orange color, it'll be the red color. So that's pretty cool. Um, sound tweaks is another one where I like to go in and add more volume steps. So when you're changing the volume up and down, it's going to give you a lot more steps instead of these longer ones. Um, that's pretty sweet. LED tweaks is really just enabling um, the LED colors for missed calls and messages, stuff like that. You can change it from the stock green when you get a text message to be purple or red, blue, whatever, and so on. Um, another cool one that I was pretty surprised that they enabled was you can you can add changes to the stock LG launcher. So one thing that I like to do is hide um, the labels hide the icon labels on the home screen. So when you have apps on your home screen, there'll be no label underneath, it'll just be an app. I think that's a pretty cool um, touch. You can change the grid size. Apparently this is experimental, so it might not work for every version. I haven't really tried it, but you know you can customize the grid size. Um, you can change the tabs in the app drawer, all kinds of really cool stuff. And then in miscellaneous tweaks, this is really cool for rooted users that don't want to have to down or have to do the you know button combinations to get into your custom recovery. You can enable the four-way reboot and additional items in your power menu. So then when you hold down your power button, instead of just having the like three options to power off your phone, there'll be more options like reboot into recovery, reboot into safe mode. Um, so those are pretty cool. So that's pretty much everything that I like to do to mine. So what I'll go ahead and do now is do a reboot on the phone so that the um, things that didn't have a chance to take into effect can go ahead and happen after that reboot. And then when I'm back up, I'll show you how it's changed. All right guys, we are back, booted back into my system. And right off the bat, I don't know if you can tell, but um, that status bar down there, those icons are smaller. Like I said before, I shortened the space of the, of the navigation bar so it would be smaller. So you can see that there. If you drop down the notification shade, you can see that now my icons are all red like I changed and the sliders are all red. Um, so that's a really cool look. Also, another thing that we did is if you remember, I went in and I changed the color of the my SMS um, background. So you can see here um, where it was stock orange before. Now it's got this nice red color, so that's cool. Um, I also changed the um, clock from being over here in the corner to being in the center. So that's taken into effect. The 4G icon doesn't show with the Wi-Fi anymore. Um, those are just a few things um, that you can change with that app. There's dozens and dozens of more. Um, sorry guys, I kind of rambled through this video. I got my battery light blinking at me the whole time. But that's just a quick rundown of some of the really cool things that you can do with the LG uh, G3 tweak box application from the App Store. Like I said, it's a free download. I highly recommend you guys go grab it and uh, start uh, personalizing your phones. But that's it for this video, guys. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. Um, I really appreciate you guys watching my videos, and we'll see you in the next one.